At Kalinda Primary School, the Literacy and Numeracy Coordinator demonstrates to her colleague how student work can reveal valuable information about the effectiveness of a lesson. I was really pleased with it. it um, I was actually very pleased with how they've all come out. I've got a few examples here that show that working from that physical environment mm. to then the large um, grid to then their own was actually quite a successful way of teaching it. Going through, I've had a bit of a look um, and I know you've brought in your work from when you did the uh, lesson with your class. Yep. And I thought we might have a look together so that we can moderate and see if we're on the same page and make sure we're teaching the same thing. Absolutely. So have you got a, a child that you thought was really quite good and had a concept? Certainly. Well? I've got, so I've got one here. Obviously we're focusing with our um, extended kids uh, with the north, south, east and west. Mm -hmm. So they've got um, got their compass points obviously all in the same direction, uh, all correctly marked. And also the bird's eye view um, from that top down view is, uh, is looking pretty good. So yeah, had, um, had quite a few work on that. And that's what I've got too. I have the same sort of aspects. I've got the compass points here, the bird's eye view. Yeah. They've understood that. Um, I've got the spacing in the middle where there is a playground. So they've actually thought about where things are located in the school. Yeah. Um, they've understood that the grids line up on either side. So I was really pleased with that as the top students. Mm. And also getting that perspective of the buildings and the playgrounds mm. and things like that. that was, um, From the top, they've got that bird's eye view. Yeah. What I really wanted to concentrate on, because he's my student that I find really hard um, to keep on track. He sort of wanders a bit. Yeah. He was the one that I got to make the paper plane, mm. which I think drew him into the activity right from the start. Yep. He certainly shows that he has the understanding here of the grid system and definitely the bird's eye. Apart from the trees, everything else, like the driveway and the car park yeah. and the buildings are from looking down on top. They're not from a side view. Definitely. So I was really pleased he's stayed on task and has achieved that much work. Yeah, absolutely. And he's also got a reasonable sort of um, perspective on how big things are throughout mm. the school as well. I did have... Um, some unexpected results. Mm. This student here, while she has the grid referencing down pat, she understands that, she's actually not understanding the bird's eye view. So I need to now go back and teach her again what a bird's eye view is. Yeah, but also with the coordinates as well, she's starting them in the very corners as well, so they're actually irrelevant numbers. So That's again, right. Getting to, I mean, even though they're matching up, these numbers aren't actually in play. These ones can't be used. Yeah. That's right. Oh. And lovely drawing. She would be very happy with what she's produced, mm -hmm. but it's not actually showing what I intended to teach. So that's somebody that I now need to work with individually. How do you attempt to make your assessments of student work valid, reliable and consistent? How can you improve the use of formative assessment in your classroom?